Hello, welcome. Take a moment, try this problem out, and then press play when you're ready to solve it with me. Okay, so they say, using the unit circle below, explain why the cosecant of theta equals 1 over y. So I, I don't like this question because when they say explain, I start thinking, well, how much do they want me to explain? What do I do? The general answer is the bare minimum is acceptable as long as you're stating something that's precise and accurate. Now that might not be helpful, it might sound like a very general statement, so let me let me clarify. Alright, so first of all, uh, we've got a unit circle here, right? So I'm thinking, okay, unit circle, that means the hypotenuse is 1, so I can label let me label that first of all. This line right here is 1, right? And I also know that we can drop a perpendicular down here, and then we're dealing with a right triangle. And we call this angle right here the reference angle, right? And I'll put a theta. Well, I'm running out of room. So I'm going to just say that this angle right here is called the reference angle. Why is that valuable? Well, in, in trigonometry, the unit circle, you've got these points where your hypotenuse intersects the unit circle. And the definition of sine in a unit circle on a Cartesian plane is that the sine of theta is y, and the cosine of theta is x. And if that's true, the sine of theta, right, theta, um, in this case, uh, the sine of theta, this angle, is equal to the sine of the reference angle here. So also the cosine of theta, this x value, is equal to the cosine of this reference angle as well. So we, we bring all this together and we can say this, the sine of the reference angle here equals the sine of theta because in both cases if I go th this way right and at, at some angle the angle here the terminal side of that angle forms a point with the unit circle with this y value and we've established the sine is equal to the y value of that point that height of that point is equal to the height of the terminal side that meets the unit circle from theta they both get to the same place, right? The terminal sides both lead you here. So those signs are equal. And that's going to equal opposite. This is the opposite side of, from both angles. It's y over the hypotenuse, 1. So it's y over 1, or just y. And then, so I'm saying minimal things here. They're precise. You can also say, well, the cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine. It's 1 over the sine of theta. So that means it's 1 over sine of theta which is y and you're done right so here I don't it's hard for me to tell even after looking at student samples here exactly what they will accept or won't accept but I know all of this right here is minimal and precise I might just put a few words in I even though I don't think we need it and that's the frustrating part of this question I'm not sure how much I have to explain but I would say that the cosecant of theta is the reciprocal of the sine of theta and the sine of theta equals y so the cosecant of theta is 1 over y I don't think we need the words here but I think in terms of grading they might also want it so this is some work and this is some explanation, and that's more than enough for them. If you didn't use the reference angle, and you just said the sine of theta is the y value, right, and that's all you said, and then you said cosecant is the reciprocal of that, you would get full credit. All right, I hope this helped.